Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Instant Pot Amish Pot Roast. Alright guys, I'm starting out at my Instant Pot Ultra. I have it set on a saute setting and it's hot. I'm going to start by adding some olive oil in here. And I have roughly a three pound chuck roast. I cut it in half and I season it with salt, pepper, and a little bit of accent. That'll help uh, really make it delicious. Now I'm going to get it in here. I'm going to do one half brown it up nice and good and I'm going to do the other half. When I'm done browning my pot roast, I'll bring you guys back. All right, now that my chuck roast is all browned up and set aside, and the reason I cut it in half was for two, two reasons. One, it'll cook faster, and two, it'll get more tender. Now I'm going to dump a quarter of a cup of vinegar into the pressure cooker. I have my power off. You're supposed to use a third of a cup of water, but I have some chicken broth I need to use up. I'm going to dump that in there. And it's probably about a cup. Now this is a slow cooker recipe, so I would use a cup of liquid in a pressure cooker anyways. I have a ten and a half ounce can of cream mushroom, so that's going to go in. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm just eyeballing this, and a teaspoon of mustard. And lastly, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of brown sugar. It's going to help balance out the uh, acidity from the vinegar. I'm going to take my spoon and go and mix this all together, and I'm scraping the bottom of the uh, pressure cooker to get the uh, little burn fits off the font because that's going to add more flavor into our cooking liquid. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to get my chuck roast back in here and I trimmed the fat off of this before I sauteed it, browned it. Now you're supposed to cook this 15 minutes per pound. This is a three pound chuck roast so that's going to cook for 45 minutes. Then I'll allow the pressure to naturally release for 10 minutes and I'll do a quick release of the pressure to finish it off. Alright guys, I took my pot roast out, it's done cooking, and I turn this back on saute. I'm going to take a cornstarch slurry stirred in here and thicken this up into a sauce for over top of the roast beef. And the roast beef is nice and tender guys, I see this is thickening up already, this won't take long. So I'm going to go ahead and fix up a plate and let's see what we got. I also went ahead and made some boiled potatoes and some corn to go with this and I took some of that sauce and put it over the roast beef. Let me try this pot roast here for you guys. It's nice and tender. It fell apart as I was taking out the pot. It's really good. Tender, moist. That sauce gives it a nice little bit of acidity but with a little bit of sweetness from the brown sugar. That's really good guys. All right, there you have it. Instant Pot Amish Pot Roast. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.